More and more people are turning to lower priced alternatives as the price of everything just keeps going up and up. I've noticed lots of YouTube crafters going to Dollar Tree for products, so why not for macrame too? I'm gonna to show you what I found, and I'm gonna tell you at the end the three things I would consider before buying Dollar Tree items. First things first, let's go to Dollar Tree. And I don't think my experience is what you're going to expect. I actually live in a really small town, and the closest Dollar Tree is in the neighboring town, so I went there. I searched the craft aisle up and down, searching for macrame products, brass rings or wooden rings or macrame cord, wooden beads. I found nothing. I mean, absolutely nothing, except one box of jute cord that wasn't even unboxed yet and it was not what I was looking for. So I asked an employee just in case I wasn't in the right area and she confirmed they didn't have anything. I'm sure this is an anomaly and that most Dollar Tree stores do have macrame supplies. So I went straight to the dollar store in my town and I'll show you what I found. I'm Claudia here at Interwoven Studio and on this channel, I teach macrame patterns, tutorials, tips and tricks. So if that interests you, don't hesitate to hit the like button or subscribe. Look at all these things I found. Amazing, right? But there are three things I consider before I buy my products at the dollar store. And here's what they are. Well, first there's the price because that's why we're at the dollar store to begin with, right? I want to compare apples to apples here and there are some products I found at the dollar store and I found the same ones online at Amazon so I can really show you directly the difference in the price. Just so you know, I'm in Canada so all the prices I'm comparing are in Canadian dollars. So I did find most things at the dollar store were cheaper but not everything. This package of four two inch brass rings at the dollar store is $2.50. I went on Amazon, found the exact same package, and it was $7.49. Clearly a better deal at the dollar store. I also found these wooden natural beads. I love using natural beads. It's a package of 13 assorted sizes. It works out to 15 cents per bead. On Amazon, these beads were $12.80 for 60, so that works out to 21 cents per bead. So again, it's the exact same product, but it was cheaper at the dollar store. Now let's talk macrame cord. This macrame cord was $2.25 per 10 meters at the dollar store. So that works out to 22.5 cents per meter. I buy six millimeter cord from Ganshet online. I love this product. It's really good quality recycled cord. So it's 55 Canadian for 305 meters. So that's 18 cents per meter. This is one of those cases where the macrame cord at the dollar store was actually more expensive. So I really recommend if you are buying macrame cord at the dollar store, check the price and break it down to the meter or to the foot, whatever you work in, and you can really figure out if it's a good deal or not. This 10 millimeter cord was $2.50 at the dollar store for 3.8 meters, which works out to 66 cents per meter. When I looked at Amazon, I found 10 millimeter cord for $24.99 for 15 meters, which is $1.66 per meter. So clearly it is way cheaper at the dollar store. So this brings me to the next thing to consider, specifically when buying macrame cord, is the quantity that you need. If you're just doing a small project, you don't need the massive roll of cord online. So maybe then you do buy the smaller quantity at the dollar store, because in the long run, it's actually saving you money because you don't need all that other cord. But if you're doing a really big project and you need lots of cord, well then of course, buy that product online if it's more affordable. The other thing to consider if you're doing a really large project and it works out that the dollar store macrame cord is cheaper, it's also usually in smaller lengths, like 25 meters, and what you're gonna end up with is a whole lot of extra offcuts. So it's just another consideration for you. The third thing to consider when buying at the Dollar Tree is the quality. And this really applies again to macrame cord because they're not created equally and it really is a trial and error and trying different products to see what you like and what is the quality you are going for. When it comes to things like wooden beads and brass rings, there isn't much quality difference I find, so it is just fine to buy from the Dollar Tree. If you wanna see an example of a project that I did make with material from the Dollar Store, watch this tutorial next. Bye.